Thurman recently had an interview, uh, you know, saying that. Oh, Showtime? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, With the white t shirt on. Yeah. Just, you know, he's not a gatekeeper. Yeah. You know, because people are trying to, I think um, uh, Brian Custer was talking about boots. Yeah. Um, but he was also talking, you know, about, about Spence and Crawford. You've obviously been in the ring with, with all kinds of guys. Is it? Is it kind of unfair for people to put Thurman in that? I mean, Thurman did beat all the guys Spence beat before Keith, Spence died. Keith is my guy. Keith put himself in that position. And I don't think he put himself in that position on purpose. I do think that, and I, I don't speak candidly, I do think that he tried to control the business side of his career a little too much. And I think he tried to be a little too strategical. And I think that it did backfire on him to a degree. But, I mean, he had injuries, things that he just could not control. And I think that his time away from the ring it kind of just pushed him to the back and it continued to push him to the back so you know even in, in his comeback fights they weren't they weren't the old one time that we're used to seeing and when you don't see that old one time it's like hey who are you now you 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 are geek gatekeeper you are a a, a has-been and things of that nature i think you know i, I said on the port away podcast that keep get back in the ring asap you, you, it doesn't matter who you're getting in the ring with. Get, get back in the ring ASAP. And okay, so you don't want to be a gatekeeper. Then take on somebody who is on that same level that you just fought with Barrios. Dominate that dude, and then say I'm ready for the big time. You can't stay away for so long, and then people expect people to still have that same respect for you. So it kind of just is what it is. Do I think he's a gatekeeper? No. Do I think he's on the verge of becoming a gatekeeper? Yes, because of his inactivity. So I think that that's what people are looking at. They're they're just looking at him not being the same guy, and that's what the gatekeeper is. Gatekeeper is the guy who was great, but is not great anymore. You know. So. And shine don't get because we still don't have the announcement. So if we don't get it, if Keith is the next guy... I, 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 I want to see Keith get one more fight. Like a like a like a tuna fight. I think that people need to respect him coming back and coming back from everything. Get that last little tuna fight in. I mean, get it in ASAP, and then get get ready to get in the ring with somebody who's got who's up there. Because if it's if you're not getting the ring with them, now you're it's got to be Boots or it's got to be uh, Virgil Ortiz or Stanionis or somebody like that, yeah. And Sean, I wanted to piggyback off of that uh, topic there. Um, the gatekeeper Three role. More. The Three gatekeeper more. role. Yeah. Uh, at 147, how specifically dangerous is that spot? Uh, with like you just said, you got sharks up top, and you got the young lions on the bottom yeah. that uh, will not take no for an answer. Yeah, I don't really know like who is. I don't know. Do you guys even look? Do you like look to see who's becoming the gatekeeper? Like, how does that even work? I think it just happens. The it just kind of happens, like right? Like, it like, like it kind of like Keith is just kind of becoming. Like getting there. He's careful, like you said. If he yeah. Get back in. I mean. Yeah. Like I don't. He's got to get back in there. I don't know, man. It's weird. I do. I do think that uh, the welterweight division is dangerous for everybody. I, I like to see. I, I did, man. I, I want to. I'm a big fan of Keith. With friends, blah 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 blah. I want to see him come back, and I want to see him have a great, fruitful career, not not mediocre fights against mediocre guys and things of that nature. So I want to ask you about a fight that no one really talks about too much, and that's uh, Virgil Ortiz Jr. versus Stanionis. Yeah. Stylistically, is that fight coming? That they're not fighting. But when yeah. you think about them, if they did get together, that's a that's a clash. That's a clash right there. Well, I don't remember who Stanionis fought in his last fight, but um, he fought Butiah. Butiah. Right. Um, From India and that fight wasn't like as action-packed as I expected to be I think near the end it started to get to be that way um, but that's what I see out of Ortiz and Stanley so I think it's it's an action-packed fight um, Stanley does take a lot of shots but he's really strong so I, I don't know man that's a really interesting fight I don't, I don't think it'll ever happen, but that is a really interesting fight. I've been talking a lot. It's a shame that some fights don't happen, man. Definitely. I've yeah. been talking a lot to uh, Blair Cobbs. Yeah. Blair Cobbs is hell bent on fighting against Virgil Ortiz is. Jr. He is hell bent uh, on fighting Virgil Ortiz Jr. What do you think about that fight? Same promotional company. Uh, what do you think about those two if they get, get together? Blair's entertaining. You know, we have to say that. I think first and foremost about Blair. Um, <laughs> I think Blair near the near the middle of that fight, 
I think he started to kind of find himself. That's my hooker. Yeah, against against uh, hooker, started to control the fight, and he and I think he got comfortable. Uh, but the, I think that the worst thing could happen in that is you kind of trick yourself into believing certain things. I don't I don't know if he's ready for somebody like Virgil Ortiz, who's not going to stop coming, who has relatively good defense in terms of blocking shots, and is very strong, throws power with, with every shot. <clears throat> Blair's got to be perfect for an entire fight. Not just, you know what I mean? So that's a tough fight for Blair. Entertaining for us. Great for us, I think. How does that fight end? I think it ends with, with Vir Virgil Ortiz getting his hand raised. Um, but you had that comeback fight. <clears throat> you fight through a little adversity. You grow. Obviously, you get confident. So, maybe there's something that Blair's got that we haven't seen. I like his movement. Um, and I remember on the telecast, they were saying he was moving too much. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I like his movement. You guys know that I was a mover. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like his movement. And uh, I like how he keeps his guys off balance. That's exactly what you need against Virgil Ortiz. So, maybe he's got something that we don't know, you know? Am I laughing?